It's Open House Thursday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Muraya Afolabi Brown. As always, I have the ladies with me. Why can building? Good morning. How are you doing? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Yes, yeah, that's this is my first time. Show. Yes, my first time this year on it's the show. Year 2022. How are you doing? So right happy now? to be on the show. Um, so before anything, I, I need to. Nero, you know Nero. Nero. He had a baby on. Oh wow! Yes. So this is Nero. So this is our Nero artist. Yeah. Oh wow! Congratulations. Yeah, 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 that was singing at the end of the year party. Oh. And you were like, he had a new year baby. Congratulations, Nero. Yeah, yeah. I had no idea. First, yes. I don't know Facebook. I wonder how. Yeah, yeah. And he also wanted to say happy birthday to somebody, um, someone in the northwest, Uche, a soldier. I forgot his name, I have yeah, I, was telling, I, I, I replied him that the, the company stopped us from saying that this, that we from mm. spouses, that we get in trouble with it, but since you mentioned it, yeah, do what they'll get the grades. But um, I think I have, so he, I mean, we, we used to say birthday so shout out to uh, But he's our person but, um, now. Yes. So he, is it, is he reminded it? me, I think I have his message here. Let me just, and I told him that they don't mm. allow us to it anymore. Let me read it. He said that we should call Uche. Un habwehe. A happy birthday is a serving army in the northeast. Yes, well, that's from. Uh, yeah, Nero. I think that's that is commendable yeah. because commendable. Yeah. he's protecting yes. um, our people, Nigerians. So uh, okay. security uh, officials could do a lot of sacrifice, so yes, a few of them yes. can be thrown in. How are you doing, Nima? Yes. Ah, grateful to God. <laughs> you had an experience very, this morning. Very, very grateful to God. Yeah. So, uh, you were going to say, ah. me this morning. So the area boys. I don't know, area boys, whoever. That this, that this group of boys at the Lake Bobo stop. This morning, they, they were attacking cars with sticks. And they threw at my own car a burning stick. Imagine that. Just for sparks. And fortunately, I was on full speed. I could have escaped yeah. it, but it hit the owner's side, shattered the glass, and burnt just a little bit of the um, plastic holding that glass. Yeah. Wow. I was able to escape. I went to area command. Because I couldn't turn back to any divisional police command. At the area command, the SO, situation officer, insisted that I go back to the divisional command before that report would be made this Imagine morning. Imagine that. He said but that area command covered the entire area. Uh, it does. But he's insisting that I go back to the division that's the one at Onerike that covers that area before that report can be made. I hope to do that today. I'm following it up in every way. I'm also finding out whoever is behind the area boys. You know, it's like, interesting. Well, you know, you go to the police station anywhere. They should have they always want to they con they'll take the story first, take report, a report, and they will the contact the one, the police station close to me. They have an incident happen to you, and they'll, they'll take it up. But they're not asking you. Imagine if you, you were harmed. Say, Imagine you were... Study. You know when I always say to whenever uh, an authority the is talking, meet, the, and I say, have, I'm saying it with all yeah. sense of yeah. responsibility. Yeah. It has to be something I experience. So when I say tomorrow and maybe the PRO of the police or someone is saying, Nima, who and uncle, it happened to me. Yeah. I have it. They're asking you to go this, back. This, so, you know, and, and the sad part is that is why many criminal cases get unreported mm -hmm. because people just feel like I've already been hurt. Yes. I've already it's lost traumatized. something. I don't want to be traumatized further by the law enforcement agencies. Mm -hmm. And Nima, I, yeah. I, I didn't know what happened because mm -hmm. I had my own drama and yeah. rushed in. Um, but I think oh, yeah. I, I locked my my key inside the house. Oh wow! And so Your we can't key? no the house key. So everybody is locked out until we are able to. And these those those jam doors. So mm. those yeah. big iron doors. Your husband doesn't have his key. Uh, we had just one key. So the security doors. So I don't know how we're going to get into the house right now. And. Mm. Um, ah, so I'm just feeling very, very bad <laughs> in myself. So today yeah, is just, yeah, yeah, yeah. but we are grateful to God, you know, because when you have life, our brain will resolve every issue out. And and that, that begs the question for this, uh, but the other thing, those things you put in front of the, the, the windows. Mm. Yeah. Larry, we can't break our windows and get inside. You know, so yes, I mean, we, we, we in cage them. ourselves inside yeah. so much. I don't, I don't, don't like this. I don't believe in them. I don't Every why. window in my house has burglary, so we can't they get inside. They are mobile today. Mm. If they want to enter your house, they will enter. They, it. they will follow you. You will be the one that will escort them. Yeah. Mm. They are not going to be smashing burglary. I hear at the job that will be doing yeah. cutting burglary. This one's the. Hello, smarter. let's go together. You <laughs> will lead them and you will help them well. carry all your yeah. property. <laughs> Which I'm, uh, so what okay, is your shoes are fine. Oh, thank you very much. So let's go on a quick yet. break. When we come back, we go through the front page. The papers stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. 
Thanks for staying with us. We're going to move on to Start with the Nation. Buhari, why I won't disclose my preferred 2023 candidate. FG to lay off workers. Outrage over CSP's refusal to obey some Wolu. Lagos government clears five Doan college pupils. Kingmakers pick late Kumbagul Balogun as Lubado. Gazette classifying bandit terrorists out. And Buhari rejects state police. Okay, so your headline. The, the president yes. yesterday. Okay, do you have that? Uh, you, you can take it. I was going to take it, but you can take it. No problem. Okay. So, I do like can add to it. The president had um, an interview yesterday with um, um, the press, and he was talking about a lot of issues that was uh, he was asked and, uh, on um, his preferred candidate, which is the major area that a nation took it from. He said that he would not like to disclose for fear that the his successor, his um, choice successor doesn't make it to 2023. So to protect him, he will not want to disclose. And he talked about state policing. He compared it to local government and state go uh, government um, hierarchy right. uh, arrangements and saying that it will, for, it will fail for, for, for failure of, gov of state governors so far, not to, uh, having not been able to pay salaries or you know, to financially support local governments. For that reason alone, it will fail. He did not uh, talk about power um, abuse, but he talked about inability of state governors to sustain it financially. He also talked about, um, when he was asked about the... the so just to buttress that point, is he also said that the governors that can't pay salaries, you now give people guns. guns yes. what are, are you, how are you going to, to result in that uh, exactly. protect the people when the people that you can't afford to pay now have mm -hmm. guns? Mm -hmm. okay. Then he, he praised his administration for security. He said that um, always, as usual, referring to when he came in, it's in local governments were under Boko Haram as their territories and that those local governments no longer are under Boko Haram. They've been recovered. And he also talked about the new gains of uh, security. Then he talked about... Um, um, I, I, Quite a number, I, of, a number, yeah. number of other things that he mentioned. He about open grazing. Open grazing. Uh -huh. he, he still believes that, you know, the grazing route is the solution to open grazing. And, you know, one thing I can give him on that one is the consistency on, you know, on that thing. Whether it's right or wrong, it's yeah, always consistent. It's, it's consistent All right. it as a solution. Let's move on to the, the fact that... Well, I, I, I wanted to add something. No, he just said that um, the... Uh, the governors and they should leave it to the traditional rulers yes. that should be they used to live together mm -hmm. in peace before peace. that what has happened that they can't live in peace. Mm -hmm. So they, go, uh, they should let the traditional rulers control mm -hmm. people. Yes, once they give the they, traditional rulers the constitutional the role, they will definitely be able to control mm -hmm. the entire mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yes. Okay, I was going to take the um, federal government about to lay off workers. So the Minister of Finance was saying that it's inevitable for us to actually implement the Honorary Report, if you recall. That was part of in, in, in reducing the cost of governance is to um, shrink uh, the workforce within the federal government. So what they're planning to do is ask Nigerians to voluntarily um, 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 resign, and they will be given an, exit, an attractive exit package, and they're going to be discussing with Labour to just share with them how they plan to roll that out. And the idea is to, according to them, we are, we are revenue challenged, according to the minister, and we need to um, reduce the, the fact that we're, we spent quite a bit on recurrent expenditure, and that has to be reduced considerably. All right, yeah. so I'm to take the Ulubado story. Um, is the passing of the um, former, uh, um, 41st Ulubado, um, Oba Saliu Adetuji, on Sunday? There's been conversation back and forth on who is going to be taking the position. And 10 out of 11 members of the Ulubado in council have agreed that Dr. Lake Obalugu will be the one saying that there's, they shouldn't bring any constitution to this. There's been, a, historically, the next in line is the, um, the next line is the oldest in, in, uh, on the stool, and that should be followed through. That there's no rule saying if you've been, if you've accepted to be a, a crown before, you cannot be crowned again. And so we shouldn't bring that unconstituted um, un rule into it. And if out of 12, including the yellow day of um, our council in chief, if out of 12, 10 have agreed, then majority already Paris. stands. So they've written a letter officially to the governor to disregard the previous letter written by the former attorney general, saying that um, this is the way forward. Let us go ahead. All right, moving on quickly to the punch. PDP, others kick as Buhari dismisses state police, insists on grazing roots. Picture of scenes of the fire 
at Okobaba Plank Market in Ibutimeta. Wow. SFU police ambush arrest Ogun landlords over land dispute in court. My wife, children visited my son in U.S. prison recently, says um, the suicide bomber, the underwear bomber's father, Mutala. Oh. Akere Dolu alleges premeditated jail breaks as army withdraws troops from prisons. Soldiers invade Ogun community, kill two labor victims, Boko Haram terrorists. Oshimbajo plans meeting with NLC over the subsidy removal and transport to Pelete. Agodo, Southwest Governors, SAN's attack on Malami and IG, and even the AGF faulting the alleged impunity. Okay, which stories, Raiki, okay, you want to start with? Um, the, Mutalab? The, yeah, Mutalab, he's, he's, he's saying that his wife visited his son, and, and the, the wife and the brother, and the boy's brother. The, the guy has got three life sentences, so it's unlikely that he, he will released. be ever released. But he is hoping that he will be released and he will be able to see him before he dies. Mm. Um, that, that's okay. generally Sorry. what he's saying. He's, in case people don't know, his son was the one that was in that um, flight from Amsterdam to Detroit. Okay. And, and, to detonate and he tried to detonate a bomb in his, in his underwear. underwear. Mm. You know. And he as a father alerted the security operatives. And Beforehand, that's what, yeah. yeah. So that's why he's probably... I mean, mm. oh, sorry, uh, did he alert this? He alerted yeah, he reported his son. He his son. That he had, um, um, he he had, had been radicalized. Uh, okay, yeah. been radicalized, yes. but not that he had the bomb. Oh, no, no, he didn't. He had the bomb. He had informed them at the time. So that was what saved him, really. Because he thought it was probably the father. What saved? The father wasn't involved in the bomb. Okay, the father, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I wanted the story. Okay, so we, of course we have challenges in our economy and we must be aware of this. Um, this is a very sad story. Yeah, it is saying that um, our debts, our debt servicing, goes seventy six percent of our revenue. It means that if we are earning money, we only get less than thirty percent, less than even mm -hmm. about twenty four percent of the revenue that we earn as mm -hmm. a country. It is a very very sad place to be in, and yet our budgets and each new budget is going to be funded by more loans. And I think at some point, if we are not careful, we might be if we don't actively increase our income. We might end up spending everything we earn servicing debt. Mm -hmm. Servicing debt is not mean that you are paying debt, so it means you are you're, you're not paying it out. You're just still paying the interest. You are paying the interest and maintaining yourself. It is this 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 deserves major. We can't be spending. We can't have this as a statistics. And we're spending billions mm -hmm. on, yes. uh, on, on travel. Mm -hmm. That that, not, that doesn't that doesn't uh, correlate. We really can't, Moran. And that's why. No, I'm not saying we can't. Yeah. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying that's why one of the reasons why she's saying that we also have to reduce the reduce cost of government. Reduce government. That's why they say is uh, the soft drinks, which is in another paper, tax. they are going to increase the the anyway, tax on we have soft to, drinks. We have to go on a break. When we come back, we continue with this review. Stay with us. We'll be right back. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience. Millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, your view, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online.
And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC communication story. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience. Millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our word winning 24 hour national and international news channel headquartered. Thanks for staying with us. We're still reviewing Punch. Uh, is there a story not taken? I was going to take um, our vice president was having a meeting with NLC concerning the subsidy removal. Uh, according to, to the report, the meeting is to also um, discuss how they plan to distribute the 5,000 Naira transportation palliative and other uh, options aimed at ameliorating the effects of the planned subsidy removal on Nigeria. So, I thought once, we again, the minister, with the once again, the Minister of Finance and Budget and National Plan, Zainab Hamed, uh, reiterated that there was no going back on the subsidy removal for the obtained track. Mm. We've been hearing this over and over again. But she's saying that so that it is um, smoother, they're going to have a meeting with NLC mm. to discuss how they plan to also implement the 5,000 hour transition for palliative. Now, maybe so, what that means is that the money is supposed to used to by fuel. Mm. Maybe they're giving you 5,000 naira. For those of you that need, I don't know, is it about 40 million Nigerians? Please, I, we, I, have it, access it, 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 we, we have about 200 well, million. Nigerians, can we, can we please just not do this? Can so, we please um, just not do this again? again? Can we not share money before? So, uh, Magodo. Yeah, Magodo. So now, the hmm. South Rock Rock governor <laughs> speaking. speaking on behalf of uh, his uh, colleagues, the uh, governor of Ondo State has queried the CSP's, what he calls his affront, at the governor of Lagos State. And because of that, he says, this goes to the uh, question of um, state policing, because the hierarchy of policing under the, fed uh, under the federation that we have can easily be abused. And one of such is what we saw in Lagos. And um, he took a swipe at the IG, the attorney general as well, and, you know, went at them. A lot of SCN spoke, but I would like to quote Robert Clark, an SCN, who said that neither the appeal court nor the Supreme Court could enforce the judgment because they did not have sheriffs, adding that sending police to the place was wrong. So I'm wondering how this will settle with the response of the Attorney General, who says that the men were there to enforce a court judgment of 2012 since before he ever became Attorney General, mm -hmm. querying why governors would take an uh, attempt at uh, attacking his office every time, and that on this particular matter, what he considered, he considered the effort of the governor of Lagos State as impunity, trying to stop the enforcement of a Supreme Court judgment, and that the Supreme Court judgment that upheld the High Court judgment in 2009, or the Appeal Court judgment in 2009, and then since 2012, has been, they've been trying to enforce it mm. in 2022 that the governor shouldn't have attempted to stop it. Right. But fortunately for the people of Magudo, the governor is still working on this. Yeah. For the, it's so interesting, they had a meeting, and they, they, they come out with meeting. the communique, and they, yeah, they have, based yeah. on the, the MRA also, both parties have agreed. Mm -hmm. So they are going to find them land. Yeah. And they're going to start from this Friday. Mm -hmm. They put together a committee headed by the AGF also. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be... And yeah. if they don't find land within the Shaginsha area, mm -hmm. they'll still propose other areas. Yeah, for yeah. Yes, this, is a, this is a over 50 billion naira transaction, mm. whichever way. So it's, it's, there, are, there are many parties involved, and it's a very, very juicy... I'm not saying this yeah, because... But I, I, I think that the governor has 
Where am I right? Mm. The governor has acted like a leader yes. in yes. this situation. Yes. He was calm. When we, there are some people that said that you should have slapped the governor, the uh, have CSP. CSP. Yes, CSP. He was very calm. He took everything. And he has still called for um, settlement. So, despite the insult. Because really, the people of Magodo are not really, they did not know there was any dispute. Yes, they just went and bought their land, got their sea yeah. over. They, they are now victims. But well, you see, mm -hmm. this is such an interesting topic because they, they, she did have gotten to this point. It shouldn't Where it shouldn't. the IGP had to send in police to mark all the buildings to get the government to now say, okay, well, let us discuss again. Because I know they've tried. They've actually, based on what the government said, they are giving them land in Badagri, which some of them have actually accepted and already started using. Exactly. They have used it. They didn't, they didn't send some part, one of the family members have taken that land already and they started using it. But the point is that they did need to take the IGP to send police to get a mark out the houses for the government to say, okay, well, they, where else can we give it to make the family is, happy? Did they reach out to the governor officially saying that we are going to do this thing and we want settlements? We are giving you options to settle us before we Maybe they've been doing that for over the years and nothing happened. So this I, was like this. Look. This is the, remember, you, you, said, you used the phrase yesterday, the Jankara attitude. Mm -hmm. the, that, the Jankara is the only way Nigerians understand. Mm -hmm. So maybe when you use the Jankara, so you know, that's when you get a response. There was once that they just came to this um, area of shrine and they stuck paper, mm. you know, <laughs> and, and you know that there is dispute in that area. Yeah. <laughs> there you is. Know? There was there, a there court judgment there too. Well, there was, but Lagos State won that one. Uh, okay, okay. moving result. on now to yes. Daily Sun. Buhari rejects state police. Around money, Lagos clears five doing college students and staff. IPOP threatens Southeast schools in national anthem. Uh, FG declares bandits as terrorists, issues Gazette. President drops Ararome, appoints Okadibo's widow, NNPC board chairman. Mm -hmm. APC concedes national chairman secretary to stop shots. Okay, which story? Okay, the Any story in Sun? Yes, the, the president appointed um, uh, former Senate president um, Chuba Okadibu's widow as a chairperson of the NNPC board. And um, presentation from all the geopolitical zones and the clinic <coughs> of Nigeria, and now she will be heading the, as chairperson of the board. That's basically the all right. So the federal government has officially deserted the court order, if you recall, about a month ago, the Federal High Court in Abuja described the bandits as terrorists. So this even issued a gazette, uh, I think it was the Attorney General of the Federation of Malamekans. Mm -hmm. He's very, very popular, he said. Ah. He's the most popular. <laughs> that's that's my favorite. You know, and um, so, he warned the general public that any person or group or persons that participating in manner whatsoever in any form of activities involving concerning the prosecution of collective intentions otherwise of a group uh, referred to in the paragraph will be prosecuted as mm -hmm. terrorists. So... Uh, that's a good thing. We've been saying this for a long time. And well, now that, now that, now it's um, I like it's the white, the white arms of that um, court judgment. The way it expanded the activities to include basically just terrorizing anybody. Yeah. You know, whether you're armed or not, any acts of terrorism and even extended it to forced marriages. So, you know, the abduction and forced marriages, all those kind of things that existed. Mm. Yeah. Can you see that part? Mm. Uh, no, yeah. You need to read the details yeah. of that judgment. The forced so, marriages, the, yes. kidnapping, <laughs> They used to when do you it. take a young young girl, thirteen, yeah. and you make her marry you. You by force. Yeah. Like that's kidnapping now. Chibok girls. They all got oh, like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. all the that, Chibok yeah, girls. Yeah. 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 All right, moving on. Now, any other story? Um, okay, moving on to the Nigerian Tribune. FG formally declares bandits as terrorists. I have no interest in who emerges my successor. Says Buhari. I hope to see my son before I die. Father Abdul Mutala killed in the U.S. for terrorism. Um, two staff members killed, three expatriates missing as bandits attack Zungeru Hydro Dam. Oramoni's death from Lagos exonerates Doan College and students, staff. 2022 budget Nigeria to pay more for non-alcoholic beverages. Who has that story? <laughs> why, why yes, I have. You should be interested in that story. I have part of that story. <laughs> okay, yeah. go ahead. Uh, they are going to be taxing uh, beverages, soft drink. They said because of the health of Nigerians. <laughs> that too many Nigerians, are, uh, uh, we, are having, we are taking too much sugar. Mm. So <laughs> I really don't. What was that really what they said? Let me read this out to you. Okay, let me read this out. The minister. <laughs> said that the excise duty on soft drinks will discourage excessive consumption of sugar, of sugar beverages, which contributes to diabetes, obesity, 
amongst others. So before we start to shout. So that is their reason. Mm -hmm. That is one of their reasons. But that also, also the major reason is economic. So no, uh, economic one. There is an economic one, yeah. but this so one was the first one that they stated. Yeah, so they said to <laughs> inside the paper. They also that said I to cope <laughs> significant revenue challenges and maintain debt sustainability. But then, um, before we start to worry, the beverages are sold with um, centiliters, not up to a liter. Yes, the popular ones that Nigerians, because everybody was saying they don't want us, you go expensive. Before the com beverage companies start so the ones that we buy for hundred naira, we now be hundred ten. We buy fifty cm. Oh, uh, so it's so fine. It never it's money. Never no, they never they'll still they'll just cascade it down now. How do you cascade? They will cascade it down. Ah, come so you will um, okay. you, you, you will pay now. Go ahead. What yeah. the when I know about the liter, somebody wants to give people. I want to celebrate to with um Ijebubo people. What happened to them? Yes, Ijebubo people for the past twenty seven years do not have. Um, or raw, mm, I don't have, they not pronounce it well, but I'll, 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 I'll oh, want to get it. Orimolusi. Orimolusi is the, is the oba of for the Jebubo people, and they haven't had for the past 27 years several issues back and forth. But now, the um, Ogo State Commissioner for Local Government and Chieftaincy Affairs, Mr. Afolabia Fuakwe, has said that, has confirmed that there is a new. Orimolusi of Ijebubo has emerged, and I think that's good news for all the citizens of Okay. Um, Moving on now to Vanguard Insecurity Opera, as Buhari says, state police not an option. Let's find a story we've not taken. FG's deficit spending rises 33% to over 7 trillion naira in 11 months. Uh, let's see another story. I have no interest in my success, says Buhari. And uh, audit report: Twelve MDAs failed to remit five billion naira taxes. Okay. Yeah. Including. No, that's no other story. Okay. Mm. I think that's all we can take. Yep. Time on off. front page review, there's something, there's something you want to take. All right. Let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we we'll move on to the hot topic of the day. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Makeup check. Are the scripts on the prompter? Script check. Are we set in the PCR? All time and place. PCR check. Clock is ticking. Time is racing. Lights are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award winning 24 hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music, and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali, and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV.
Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9. Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC communication story. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're gonna have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics and you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's Your View. Join us on Your View. 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas. It shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw ether material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move weigh in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. Thanks for staying with us. So according to reports, an update from the um, Director, Directorate of Public Prosecutions on the Ministry of um, Justice in Lagos State issued a report on the death of Sylvester Romani Jr. And they have exonerated the five students and the five employees whose names were mentioned over his death. Most Nigerians found it quite disappointing. Now, um, when the reports came out, a lot of Nigerians obviously took to social media and there was a lot of anger. In fact, we saw a video of the mother um, obviously crying, uh, not, not happy about the report. I think the Sylvester's father also issued a press release. Um, so we'd like to hear from Nigerians today. You can call in to 081-270-53687, You can also send us a message on YouTube and Facebook. We'd like to hear your thoughts. Um, so when I read the report, uh, obviously, when this happened, I mean, for, for those who probably needed clarity on what was going on, when the young boy uh, passed away, the Ministry of Education, Lagos State, obviously waded in 
to see the family and then reported to the Ministry of Justice that, okay, something, the boy has died. Please help us look into it. And that's when the police was invited to investigate. Now, the, based on what we have, the police immediately arraigned the boys, the, the, I think the four or five boys were involved, right. they detained them, um, interrogated them, and I think they were even, they were even left, they were, they, they were kept in the police custody in for general. a while, in general um, detention for a while. And then an autopsy was conducted on the side of the family first. So the doctor, the pathologist working with the family, conducted a, 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 an autopsy in worry and had their own conclusion. This same pathologist from worry also joined the pathologist from the families of the four boys that were accused, plus pathologists from the Lassooth and three policemen came together to do a transparent autopsy. The results for that, according to the report, corroborated what the pathologists from Worry initially had. So based on the reports about that, about that we've read, the boy unfortunately died of sepsis, sepsis, now which was caused by bacterial infection. Now, there are different, different ways we can look at this. So I would like to hear from Nigerians because we're still, there's so many questions unanswered. For example, was the boy bullied? The, the report didn't tell us that if he was bullied because there's a possibility. Because there's, a, there's a possibility that he was still bullied. Number two, the, the, the boy who died said he was given substance to drink. The autopsy didn't confirm or refute it. And also, the part that the, the, part, the family of the boys also, the parents didn't take him to the hospital. The moment he came back from Lagos, I, 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 I was told, I read the report, he went to Lagos, uh, he, went, he left Lagos 26th of November. They didn't take him to the hospital. It was towards the end, while he was in pain, that they now moved him to the 29. hospital. So he yes, was in the days house after. for almost seven days, I think, for a few days before he even the hospital. Came. He went on the 29th. Went to go and check the, the get a test done. But I think he was still home. It was the end of the week that eventually they were taken to the hospital before he died. Now, if he was indeed sepsis, as Nima had said earlier, maybe they could have, if they had taken him to the hospital earlier, he would have survived. So there are so many questions Nigerians are still asking. And I'd like to hear your thoughts on it's hard to say who do we hold, who do we blame? What, what, what's going to happen? Nigerians are not happy that these boys are seem to be going home. What are your thoughts on this report and how do we go from here? So I'm not unhappy that the boys are going home because, you know, it would have been an injustice if they are innocent and they're made to face mm. anything. But what this report, of course, is a pathologist report, cannot determine is that if there was bullying. Yes. If something happened in the hostel, that's what um, uh, circumstantial evidence from other people who witnessed the hostel mates, the room uh, bunk mates or whatever, yeah. what they witnessed that night. And we've heard different accounts, but we've not heard about the police uh, interrogating anybody within his room under their investigation. So that has not uh, been established. Sep sepsis is an infection, as far as my layman understanding of it goes, that if it is early de detected earlier, it can be... Um, averted and you know the life of a person safe, but it can take the life of a person if left to fester for too long. Yeah. So that I know, and I'm wondering, there was a report, there was an um, allegation of him having been forced to drink a substance. If the substance, like we all thought, yes. was not a chemical substance, if it was a contaminated substance, yes. the pathology report did not show that. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, it did not show. Of course, from the autopsy now, we did not see injuries of the beating, mm. which, you know, was yeah. reported that he was properly beaten, yeah. so he was in pains and couldn't yeah. move. And now that that has been taken care of, does it show that, you know, in the course of bullying, at the time when the uh, allegation of light switch off and all of that, something is still holding that school right. to question, right. the owners of that school. Exactly. The, uh, um, what they call them, the teacher that takes care of the hostel. Housemaster. Housemaster. You know, there's still something. So yeah. just, just that he's sticking to his story yeah. doesn't mean that that's the only story. Right, right. And that's the job of the police to find out for so us. What it's, it's so saddening right. for me to find out that today, I'm hearing for the first time today that when he arrived, he wasn't immediately taken into hospital. Yeah. That for me is, is sad because it spreads the blame yeah. to... Parents delay, doubt, yeah. not trusting or acting because on time. Now, let me, let me, let me, let me say, I mean, I'll come to talk right now. In other parts of the country, of the world, in this kind of situation, when a child in, in distress, from they call you from school that your, child, your son is not feeling very well, and you, do, you refuse to take that child to the doctors immediately, automatically, they, if, it was, if, it was, if this was in America or maybe all these uh, abroad countries, first of all, arrest the parents, first of all. 
Because on what basis would a child be in this kind of pain and you don't take the child to the hospital immediately? That was, that, that was, that, that's worth discussing and questioning. So what do you think about this whole thing then? Talk before I move okay, on so um, of course, I would not want innocent person to... If, there, if there's anybody innocent, the person should, should be... If anybody's innocent, it shouldn't be guilty based on social media mm. and stories around. And if somebody is guilty, um, lapses in the system and investigative process should not let the person go scot-free mm. if exactly. they are guilty. That's on one side. On the other side is the fact that um, there were many people that came out after this thing happened to say that this happened to my boy also in the same school. Mm. He was beaten yes. by these same children. Was that part investigated at all? Mm. Because the only part I saw from this autopsy was that they checked his intestine to be sure, okay, what, is, what could have caused the death? We, we, so, sometimes, maybe because we've watched too much, I have watched a lot of Hollywood, and I used to like watching a lot of thrillers and criminal movies. We, we, we might not have the full Story, understanding full of what happened. But I want to say for a fact that there are many people that confessed that they were also... Um, bullied mm -hmm. and hurt in this school by mm -hmm. these pupils. Mm -hmm. If they might not be guilty of killing a child, their actions might not have directly led to the death of this boy. But did they beat up that boy? Yeah. If right. they did, that should be brought to court. So, so there are different layers. So right now we have an autopsy result, which is scientific, right? Mm -hmm. We're still waiting for the Ministry of Education to do the needful. Mm -hmm. But then let us know what you're going to do to Doan College. Because there's a different, just like you said, there's a scientific report we have mm -hmm. from the Minister of Justice conducted, right? But we're still waiting for that administrative regulation on the yes. part of the Minister of Education. Okay, what are you going important. to do to the school? Mm -hmm. What investigations will go ahead, will go on to ensure that if indeed bullying exists in that school, mm -hmm. based on this thing you're saying, yeah. and other private schools, even schools across the, mm -hmm. across the state, what's going to be, going, will be done going forward to ensure, to forestall this from happening? Going forward. Yes, go ahead, right. That was going to be my point exactly because the thing is, there has been accusation of bullying in the school. Now, if there has been accusation of bullying in the school, this does not exonerate exactly. the school. Exactly. Absolutely. This, in fact, even because, okay, sepsis, sepsis could have been, the school said he played football. He, maybe he did have a cut and the bullying, the beating, um, opened, yes. opened the court awesome. or, and sept, um, sept, 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 sept mm. the school needs to um, explain yeah. was there bullying yeah. I, I, I don't want the school to escape or the kids the, yeah. I, I, I'm, I, and I don't, I'm not saying I want the kids to be in jail or anything yeah. but Children have to realize that they cannot bully yes. their, yeah, the, yeah, their peers. Yeah. You know, so if we don't stop it, yeah. if we don't stop, please don't exonerate everybody. Just yeah. let us investigate this matter properly. Thank you very much, Waike, because just like we said, this is just a scientific report. We still there are other parts of this story that is yet to be so to surface. What could that cause quick... the sepsis? Was it the beating? Let's go on a quick sure. break. When we come back, we continue this conversation and listen. Get, get, get calls from our viewers. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. It's a lie. It's a lie. No. Unbelievable. 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 It's a lie. It's nothing big. We are Eleganza sent us some nice gifts, and we just thought, you know what? Let us share it with our, with many of our fans. Thank you very much for your support. We know you love the show. We know you love the ladies. I'm just thought it was important to come and visit you as the Christmas season is here. Thank you very much for being such a good fan of the ladies and the show. Thank you. So we'll be giving you a, a cash gift because um, you remember the ladies had, um, we had put it out there that our fans to put money together. So part of the money we got together, we're saying, you know, we're going to use it to bless all our fans. So we're going to be giving you a cash gift of 15,000 Naira. It's tiny, but at least we thank God, please manage it. It's a tiny gift, but please appreciate it. 
we just want to say thank you mr dan we want to appreciate you and we know that there are many people watching that have been supportive for many years and you are an example of such so others might not be able to see us physically come and appreciate them but their time might come their time might not come but trust that we love every fan of your view and we are grateful for your support so you are one fan that we have that will remember our birthdays you will call us you send us cards you have really been good and we want to appreciate you <laughs> yeah oh that's so sweet you have been a sweet fan and we pray that the Lord will continue to uphold you. TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award winning 24 hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music, and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali, and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9. Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. Thanks for staying with us. So before the break, I had talked about the fact that um, the boy wasn't taken to the hospital, and that's not correct because I'm going back to the report, which is right in front of me. Uh, according to the report that we have, the young boy complained from the 20th and 21st of the school, right? And then they took him to the sick bay. On the 23rd, he was released to his family, and they were in Lagos. Whilst in Lagos, they conducted um, x-ray on his ankle. I think that was where the complaint was. So they did take him to the hospital on the, from the 23rd to get an x-ray. After which, I get, I don't know, we don't have the result of the x-ray of his legs. That was where the pain was. And then he was taken to worry on the 26th. And then, I think because of the strike or so, a doctor was brought home to care for him. So, if the indeed... Hospital, so, the central hospital him, was, uh, strike, was on strike. Uh, so, now, if he was home on the 26th, the family and, um, and then the family doctor family came in to, treat, to him. treat him in the house. So if, it's, if it was sepsis indeed, and just as said, if it was not treated on time, mm -hmm. so all this while, it has probably um, gone into the system and probably affected some of his organs, which is the lungs. From the um, definition, what sepsis is, so yes. that we can understand this clearly. 
says sepsis is a life-threatening complication of an infection. So okay. we already have an infection, but it's getting complicated. It occurs when chemicals released in the bloodstream to fight an infection triggers inflammation throughout the body. This can cause cascade of changes that damage multiple organ systems, leading them to fail, sometimes even resulting in death. This boy was in such pain that I, I kept wondering what is wrong with him internally. He couldn't yeah. even stand straight. Right. He couldn't even right. mask or, you know, man up on this yeah. pain. It was right. intense. And so we all wondered he had to be poisoned mm. because his organs must have Poison. been infected. Okay. But yeah. we are seeing from the autopsy reports now that sepsis is possible. So now this is my own. If he's in a school in care of somebody, when, as a mother, when my children have one infection, one of them starts vomiting, I start to mop. That's what I do in my house. I start to clean up. I start to disinfect the house. So a school where he's fed, he, dr he drinks, he stays in, how, what is the hygiene level? Yeah. Also, he could have been given a contaminated substance, we don't know, yeah. because he said he was given something yes, to absolutely. drink. Absolutely. Also, the, the people in the hostel, what, uh, how long, what, what, what sorry, the um, hospital, the sick bay, yes. what kind of treatment did they start with? Mm. Because this is, they're saying that when the infection, the chemicals released to fight an infection triggers mm. a, rea yes, a yes, chemical reaction in the body. So pain. what exactly yes. did so, they do? I want the police to do us all right. good reports that we can right. not, not just say this is what DPP has advised. So, and the, so as we said, I'd like us to, now we've seen the report based on what, what, what the report has said. I'd like us to put, put, put that aside for a second and then go back to the school. Because in every boarding house, you see, I, have, I, I was in a boarding house, and I know how important the housemaster, the housemistress, and even your principal is in monitoring, going around, surveying, doing some kind of surveillance across the, 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 the schools. What kind of administrative um, system do they have in this school such that children can't even come to the housemaster and say, ah, sir, they are doing something in that room. Hmm. Because there's, they, we are too far away from the children. Mm -hmm. We had we had we had some senior that some 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 um, some members that will be snitching to teachers. We're telling them, ah, sir, someone going on that room. Please go and check it. You you, yeah, you protect the child. You don't tell no, you, the, the, the children will know that you're not going to you're not going to um, show their identity. Mm -hmm. So obviously there's a lot of problem within the school in monitoring and ensuring that boarding houses are well run. That's a major so, problem. So, so um, I'll go back to the fact that we had several stories of people who've had this experience yes. in that same school. That's where your comment comes in, because you mentioned that well, it's, this is just the um, Attorney General's um, report, yeah, police report. Papers. We need to have the report from the Ministry of Education, taking into cognizance all the other elements and revelations that came out of this story. Out of this story, people came out, parents came out in the PTA meeting on Zoom, yes. which is online, saying how they took their children out of the school because of this situation right. happened to their own children. Teachers some, also. some teachers that left Both the school teachers. said, this happened, right. I reported, and I realized nothing was happening, I left. Those things need to be investigated, Absolutely. number one. Um, some so people online, because we need to separate Let's facts. Few messages, yeah. Yes, we need to separate facts from what we feel. Emotions. And a lot of times, we, because of um, our emotional attachment to the fact that a, a little boy lost his life prematurely, we might not be able to understand. And in, in law, it is innocent until proven guilty. And mm -hmm. you cannot, if you cannot prove the guilt, there is nothing you can do about it. Yes. So people are saying here that do they, is, um, they, they, the beating must have caused internal injuries. There was no, the investigation sure. reports did not show any internal injury apart from the lungs. That's you know? what's assuming. Because of yes. the way we saw the yes. boy in pain. Yes, yeah. that there was internal injury. Yeah. Someone also mentioned that um, um, I think the boy was given medical attention by the family doctor. And let's, let's put that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and then there was a conspiracy theory. You know mm -hmm. that in Nigeria, because we want to, we're trying to find some kind of a story, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's a conspiracy angle saying that, oh, the, once the thing entered Lagos, we knew that the, the, the story would change. Mm -hmm. That they, were, they should have just um, checked the boy in worry, that the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the autopsy result from worry is different from Lagos. And that's not true. Because the, the same pathologist that, it, that checked him and the, can did the procedure in worry, Followed to Lagos. He, he did his own and had his own results, which then corroborated. He followed them to Lagos. He was there. The four pathologists from the family of the four boys, the two or three from Lagos State, and the police officers were also there. It was a very, very crowded autopsy. Very, I mean, mm. even me as a parent, I'm thinking to myself, how would I even allow my child to go for bid? 
You know, but unfortunately, they had to do this. They made it so transparent. Where everybody, I hear, oh, we are here, we are doing autopsy. Come and see. And then the result that came out corroborated what they did in worry. So they, they, mm -hmm. Nigerians want to see hanky panky, but well, here yeah. there really isn't. There's so a lot of comments so online to, saying that they're trying to cover it up. It's so not to help true. us get to school, not, the school must still take responsibility for this for somehow. This. Mm. Exactly. The school has to take responsibility. And I want us to realize what sepsis is. Sepsis is an injury that has become infected. Mm -hmm. When it, it does not mean that that boy was not beaten. Mm -hmm. Yes. It does not mean that the beating did not cause the sepsis because they could have injured him and sepsis set in because the school was negligent. Yes. Is it, there is negligence in, in uh, the, this, the in from, the even from this report, yes. mm -hmm. the school is liable because mm -hmm. there is negligence on the part of the school. Very, very. It, it should not have even been. Sepsis should not even have been allowed mm. to set in. Uh, Let me take this call from Norma that comes to the mm -hmm. man. Norma, are you there? Hello, Nama. Nama, are you there? 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 Hello. Okay, we can't have it. Go ahead, Nima. So I, I want to quickly say that I totally agree with the pathology report now. Reason is because as I'm taking the definition of sepsis and I'm trying to re relate it with the video of the last moments of that boy. Now, some of the symptoms of sepsis include fever. Obviously, you could see he had difficulty breathing low blood pressure, fast heart rate, and mental confusion. At the time of that video, at the time, the last yeah. moment, you would see this boy wasn't even coherent. He was, his, no mother wants to visit, 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 you know, mm. experience that. Yeah. And that state he was in is something that I expect the school to rise above every comment mm. and, be, and be the bigger person, yeah. take responsibility where it's it is tight. necessary. Not come and carry your child. No, no, no I don't. I stop um, trying to say they are trying to destroy. Mm -mm, leave reputation now. Mm. In fact, build a reputation of accountability now. Mm. A child under your watch should not be dying. Should not yeah. be dying from yeah. anything happening yeah. in school. Under your watch, because I remember when I was growing up, I had a neighbor whose grandchildren came from the UK to stay with her, two of them, and she was saying, Ah, now maybe their maternal grandmother. That their paternal grandmother is in Nigeria here, but they brought them to her. When one of the babies fell sick, this woman lost, lost sleep. She was saying to me that if anything happens to this child, they go see their mama people kill her. Mm. People must account when a child is within your watch. Yes. Yeah. You must hold yourself to a serious level of accountability. Yes. So I don't want expect I don't want to hear the kind of comments we heard from the I know as a principal. I, yeah, to, I, I, I need to understand something concerning this report. Um, this report is only the pathology report. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, because all through the report that I read, mm. at no point did they mention um, the witnesses and schoolmates' uh, feedback on what happened. Mm. They did not mention that. They only mentioned the report from the school Autopsy saying... Autopsy and then and the interrogation the of the boys. Of the, bo of, yeah. of, of, of the boys. So, of course, the boys will say they're not involved. However, when this story broke, yeah. classmates, roommates mentioned this happened. Mm. The schoolmates are alive. They mentioned that while they were in their rooms, the light was switched off. Mm. That five people came in and they were hitting this boy. Seniors. Those children are alive. Yeah. So, uh, uh, Nima, I want to understand that is this report now, does this mean that this is the end of the Because no, they said they no, released no, the no. boy. No, 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 This doesn't stop investigation. Stop investigation. This, this is, is just the... advice on how, because when minors are charged, him? No, when minors are charged for major offenses like yeah. murder or attempted murder, the DPP has to advise on the next line of action on how to prosecute. And so this is the DPP's advice based on pathology report that this is what is showing. So council murder, council uh, attempted slaughter. murder, manslaughter, you can then release them because that's the only ground on which they can be detained over... Yes. Uh, over the, it doesn't no, mean that another, another party so cannot sue. No, oh, you can oh, still sue. That investigation should not continue. Absolutely. So, yeah. so who will carry out investigation? Because the, the if I'm a parent, agencies. God forbid we find ourselves in this situation, I'd like to, what, what would be the line of action? Because the parents, the parents are can still now. sue the so, school. Yes. So the parents can no still sue the school. The parents can still sue the school. Yes. Absolutely. Is this not the end of the road? Mm -hmm. This is just report from the Ministry of Justice. The, parent, the school owes that parent the duty to protect and, uh, and uh, the, uh, the welfare and well-being of their child. Nima, so so can't they have every right Nima, to that? can the Ministry of Education also sue the school if they find, if they, if they have grounds to do Administratively, so? Administratively, I don't think the, the Ministry of possibly. Education can. No, they, 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 they are different ways. They have the power, they license schools to yeah. operate. They have the power Let me take this call. Close down the school, to close down the school. Good morning, are you there? Show. Yes, yes, You're live, go ahead, please. Welcome to the show. 
Sure, I can't hear you very well. Could you speak louder, please? Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. Uh, I said my contract to the Lord, the family, 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 the know for a fact that the police probably did a hard job, or we are in Nigeria and we know for a fact that once you know, something must have changed. I'm not accusing the police, they have just been trying to get normal Nigeria. Now, back to the case. There's no way the school will claim innocent in this case. There are people in, the, in that room that come out to say they witness what happened. The school has maintained that line, consistently that he had issues when he was playing football. Now, all knew that was not what happened. Okay, so, really sad. Yes, I, I, I know that people are really heartbroken, and I'm a mother. No, no parents would pray this happens to anybody, but I'm reading the comments online, and I read comments on the report, and I feel like we, we, we need to understand that while we are very emotional about this, it is not every time anything from the government comes out, our first reaction is it is a lie, yeah. it is wrong, there's shoddy cover up. Um, if you don't have money, because I'm reading, people say, ah, it's not good not to have money in this country. If you don't have money, things would go bad. The reports from the investigation, from the family's first autopsy done in worry, said sepsis. So it is not like the investigation in Lagos is a cover up to hide what is going on. I agree that we have not seen the entirety of the picture and Sorry. everything that should be done hasn't been done to find what exactly happened yeah, here. Yeah. However, from the pathological point of view, what killed the boy, according to the pathologist now, is sepsis. Yeah. And until we have another scientist giving us facts, we would, we would have to work with the facts available. Yeah, and so, yeah. Uh, my, my own is that something caused the sepsis. Yes, the sepsis need to dig not deeper. Just yeah. Yeah. Not just yeah. Something yeah. caused it. Yeah. Like so they have not really told us what caused the sepsis. sepsis. So that's the next And level. this report can't tell us that, based on what they're saying. So the point we're trying to make is that, I know, I mean, I, I tell everybody, when, when, I, when I try to start these kind of conversations, I let everybody know that we're on the same page. We don't trust the government, right? <laughs> we all don't trust the government. Yeah, They're all true. liars. They've all collected money. Somebody mm -hmm. is rich. Somebody is influential. That is the mentality. And we all have it. True. But as we are having that mentality, let us use, let's use like 10% of our, our brain. To say, okay, what if, indeed, these pathologists are saying, what if money did not exchange them? What if? And let us, because four boys could have innocently gone to jail if indeed, if indeed they didn't do anything. So let us look at both sides. And let's, let's, let's try to always look at the 360 degree. And, and that's why I say that this report cannot be the end of this conversation. Yes, it's not conclusive. It cannot. It's because not conclusive. this is just telling us scientifically. Yes. But doesn't mean that the bullying did not happen. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that boy wasn't beaten? Doesn't mean that sexy wasn't aggravated mm -hmm. based on the beating? Doesn't mm -hmm. tell us that. So yes. that could have happened. We, we haven't taken the cognizance of the boy's last confession before yes. he died. Yes. We didn't take cognizance. This report does that not cover strong. the witnesses that were in the room mm -hmm. and other people who suffered bullying in the hands of this four yeah. children. Yeah. By the time we this. put all of those together, yeah. I'm hoping that we would have justice meted out to everybody who has suffered yeah. bullying in the hand of this student, as well as the school should not get away scot free and Let business will continue Ulu as usual. Ulushola from Abuja. Ulushola, are you there? Okay. <laughs> Ulushola, are you there? Are you? Yes, you're live. Yeah. Go morning. ahead. Good morning. Morning. Yeah. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year, sir. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the issue on ground here. Yeah. The issue about uh, uh, high schools, body house, and um, private schools, something of all this nature. You see, we have to put something in place. It seems that our education has lost morality. The issue is this how will you send your children to school? All what they want to do is to become masters. To become something else. You become something else. Somebody. Oh. The audio is really bad. I'm sorry. Please, mm, please. He says, How can you send your children to school to become good, uh, good, uh, something, success, but they come out to become something else? 
you know, and, and that's where, you know, I'm not even here to really blame the children. Mm -hmm. Because you are there, to your, your, your teachers are supposed to be your um, guardians. They are, they are supposed to watch over you. Mm -hmm. They are like, you know, the way we think that, we believe that God is watching over us. They too are supposed to watch, your parents watch over you. Your teachers watch over you. You know, and teachers, you know, they, they are very, they, they can, in this case, is irresponsibility is yeah. what is is, is is causing this hmm. problem. Is okay. even still discussing. Remember yeah. that girl in Abuja from yes, that school? Yes, that was that girl. It was sexist. Mm -hmm. It and the was sepsis sepsis that killed her. But yes. in that investigation, I'm happy that they were able to say that they, they, we were able to link the fact that the sepsis was due to the fact that they, they, a, a, a condom was for, was left in her vagina. Mm. And that was what led oh, to the infection mm. that made her die of sepsis. Mm -hmm. yes. So now, so what we haven't gotten from this pathologist report what caused is what the caused the what sepsis. Caused and the so sepsis. we cannot even, for me, there should be, there should be further oh, investigation. investigation on mm. that um, in the autopsy mm -hmm. to find mm -hmm. what caused the sepsis. Because if so it going, is not... going to the conversation of boarding schools, mm -hmm. you know, mm. because I was in a boarding school and I know that um, there's a different administration uh, totally from, from day school. There's a way you ensure, because the, the house pastor not only stays there, he goes around and he gets, um, what do you call them, um, um, uh, uh, informants, mm. who gives him information on what's going on. They are very, very close to the children. So we have yeah, to find a way to hold now. the school Why liable would in some way. Why would the hostel not have a CCTV? Sorry? Why would the hostel not have a camera inside? Sometimes. But the camera never can take light. Uh, who knows? Know, I, 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 I have you seen children, have you seen children destroy CCTVs? Uh, so school works without power. Some children I destroy CCTVs, Nima. Uh, I've uh, seen a school where the children so that, came and destroyed that it. That will alert the school system that the there's people something that, wrong. That's something wrong. Is wrong. Yeah. Paul yes. Williams says on you know, them, uh, YouTube. You see, he says the boy was given something to drink. The story was corroborated by several witnesses, junior students. Orgene uh, Bure's friends, what are we now saying here? Are we questioning facts? So this con this investigation cannot just end like this. We agree. Uh, but for more boarding schools, for us to avert this kind of, because personally, I don't even have faith in any boarding school system again. I don't trust giving my child to anybody. If I cannot parent the child, don't worry. So, Yo, so we, the system must continue to improve. Yeah. If a yeah. pastor can be tired and be walking around, put camera there. And yeah. somebody should sit in the office conveniently watching these children, how they play in the hostel. Yeah. Somebody could have watched camera and seen that they were beating this boy. Yeah. Instead of us relying on his, his classmate statement. Somebody will run inside. Teaching. Eh? Teaching. <sighs> teaching is a very noble profession. Yes. Mm -hmm. Teachers, teachers make or break a, a person, yes. a child. It is because, apart from your parents, that is your next contact yes. with an adult. So teachers have to take very serious responsibility. Look, <laughs> like, teachers, yeah, they're so important, they are so, so important yeah. to society. Yes. Yes. That's why I believe in Nigeria they are underpaid, mm -hmm. yes, they and are. they should be, a, a teacher should be so comfortable Valued, yes. and that, revered. And revered. Mm. I because like the question Oladi did post that he said, now that the boys are exonerated, what stops them from leaving the school, the country? Yes, they'll just go. Um, I pray the matter dies. My, my brother got a, a text from somebody on Facebook and says, uh, Mrs. Kenny Kong was our English teacher in class 1B. She stood up one day, pointed at you and said, you will never be successful in life. I hope she lived to see what you have become. <laughs> I was in that class. You created bombers, you funded them. That is what that teacher said to that child. Mm -hmm. You will never, you cannot, you are, you are supposed to be responsible for his success. Yes. Right. Right. Do you understand? And even the school, remember this, this, this school be particularly, immediately came out with a defense. Yeah. That, no, that's what I'm saying. He was school. football, no. yeah. you, know, you see this school. So, they, so this, we still, there's got to be something. I mean, the school this is still, not, this, is not this cannot be the, the, mm -hmm. the end of this investigation. So, mm -hmm. yes, we, as I said, the school itself, we need to hear from the school. Because we need to know who's going to, um, is it the school, the school, or ask them for questioning, or investigate for that. There's got to be more to this than... Who is going to take responsibility? The parents have a right to sue the school. Parents Negative. generally that sue the school, yes. the school. And they also can have a class action. We are all the parents all the of old all old the other um, children. children that have been bullied, bullied entirely, yeah. including yeah. the one who lost the life, mm -hmm. can sue the school in group and say mm -hmm. that we don't mm -hmm. feel this school is a competent school yes. to raise children. Right. Can we shut down the school? Okay, we have to wrap up you yes. have bullies yes. in your school and you have not carried all of them that, and expelled them. That yeah. Whether or not the government locks down the school, 
whether or not you know action is taken against the school, Nigerians should take uh, action by themselves. If your child is still in the school, it's your business. Exactly. If you're, if you're thinking of taking your child to that school, after all of this, it's still your business. So exactly. people should not, before you start to wait, let's us take Let's not forget that ourselves. there are children about to write exams in this school. This is a, there's some final year students. So these students, because of this whole thing, this school has been closed down. Mm -hmm. So yes, this investigation has happened. Now, let us, let us switch the conversation. There are about 400 other children there who mm. want to finish school and just move on to their, with their mm. lives. Mm. Is it not unfair to keep the school closed and so that these children will not complete their school? Because the like, these children... Involved. One person died, though. Uh, one person uh, died. I'm, just, I'm, I'm, so telling, I'm my, telling you as a parent, your child is in that school. So what I feel There's is There's nothing that, that is unfair to no, you no, where no, your child is still what, alive. What, 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 what the I feel... The unfairness in this story talk about is to the person who's lost their child. Yes, so what I feel can be done... And the Ministry of Education has capacity to do it, is to split the children into other schools within that area so that they write their exams and they don't miss a year. Yeah. But that the school itself as a company should not continue because the school is beyond that education institution. It's a company, it's a money-making business. Right. And they should pay for the fact that they have not done well in doing what they are meant to do before they got the license. For everything, so, you get the license, there are rules and regulations that guide that so license. So in honor of Sylvester, that school shouldn't be open. That's yes. what you're saying. Yes. yes. And, and the children like... should be allowed to go to other schools to write their exams mm -hmm. for those final year students. And they should not be allowed to miss a year. But right now, I heard that the schools are doing online. That the no, they're, they're, the school they're is online. They're online. I don't think the school has been closed down. And the Ministry of Education specifically said that they've not opened. They've not allowed them to open yet. Because they're all waiting for this report. It's based on this report, they can now tell us what the next action will uh, be. The next action, I believe, should be investigate. Okay, we have, said we have, we have heard what the pathologists have yes. said. We removed mother. Oh, yeah. We've removed the... Uh, Let me take that child got beaten. Let me mm -hmm. take this call. Good morning, are you there? Hello? Hello, good morning. Hello, Teddy, are you there? From Spain. Okay, you don't have to call. So we have to wrap up on this, I think. Mm -hmm. I think, um, well. so, I mean, as but I said, I'm our not, hearts go out to the family. Mm -hmm. Do you have any, any yeah, Ola Didi says, I'm truly saddened by this case. With his last breath on the sick bed, Sylvester gave an account. Now, justice cannot be, should not be gagged, and um, it's an unfair world. Right. I right. think that it's a, any dying person's last statement, uh, of course, even in law, is right. treated with seriousness. So that last statement should be further probed. Right, if we can, if we can rule out murder and manslaughter, we can find out other forms of um, offences, that criminal offences that are possible for you us. Know, let us assume that the child was not bullied. Let us assume, for argument's sake, please. What was the school looking at that a leg will become infected? To to um, to As become mm. um, to have such a team, such a team, yeah, yeah. Team, yeah they call it. Uh, it was his lungs. <laughs> I think it was his lungs. Yeah, it's not the, the leg. The pathologist said it was his lungs. lungs. Can you imagine? So, while they are while they are their eyes, a child that is in your care develops uh, sepsis. sepsis. Do you know how long it takes for sepsis to set in? Yeah. Really, our heart still goes out to the it's family. It's really, really sad, but our heart goes out to the family of Sylvester. The mother was, I mean, we saw her yesterday. I mean, it's, it's painful. I mean, parents will do everything they can to keep their child alive. It's just, this is quite a painful development. And we just hope, and we'll continue to monitor the story and see what happens to Doan College and see um, what the Ministry of Education plans to do going forward. That's all we can take on this topic. When we come back, move on to other topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. At TVC Communications, we're all about our audience. Millions of viewers, listeners and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award-winning 24-hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, 
award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the Inch Bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestrial, DTH, DTT, OTT and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9 Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Story. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas, it shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw ether material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known, for when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking advocating, protesting, as the arts are meant to be. Come closer. A little bit more. Perfect. I have exciting news for you. You asked for it and you got it. Your favorite breakfast show, Your View, will be going to two hours. We're going to have in-depth analysis of the newspaper review and more conversations on the hot topics. The ladies of Your View and I will be staring up our guests to get an in-depth into all the various topics. And you, our viewers, will have the opportunity to call in and share your views. After all, it's Your View. Join us on Your View, 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. for a fantastic conversation. Don't miss it.
makeup in progress, makeup check. Are the scripts on the prompter, script check. Are we set in the PCR? All team in place, PCR check. Clock is ticking, time is racing, lights are. Plans all set. 120 minutes of hot entertainment. We are ready for the mission. Doubt and fear doesn't occur at the canvas. It shows in the canvas. It shows the conation of raw earthen material slapped, stroked and molded at a pace provided by the doubt and fear. Every move way in the struggle of one to the other, merging the past to the present, brush strokes of colors seen but not known. For when the wailing stops, the pieces settle down in abject beauty erected for a century of a century. Speaking, advocating, protesting as the arts are meant to be. Thanks for staying with us. So moving on to our Feel Good Thursday topics. So on social media, Nigerians who have rich, rich parents were narrating how they were being left out. They have been left out of their parents' wealth. According to some of them, their parents are philanthropists, givers to all and sundry, and don't reciprocate that with them. They also revealed that while some of their friends felt they were lying about not enjoying their parents' wealth, others came through for them. So it's a story many of us are familiar with where our parents are, or our dads are like the best guys, you know, is the most loved guy out there, everybody internationally acclaimed, everybody, I'm just using for as an example, you know. But inside the house, you're thinking, as if, ah, give us this money now, this money they are going to London, they're going to America, let us to travel now, let us give us a, this, and he's like, no. But there, the world knows him as the giver, the person that does this. So that's the conversation, how, why the rich parents, quote unquote, sometimes are so good outside, but they're not that great inside. You can call us on 081-270-5367-091397-6948. You can also send us messages on YouTube and Facebook. We'd like to hear your thoughts. Since you use Fela <laughs> as an example, <laughs> I will tell you this for a fact. Fela did not give us money. <laughs> That's number one. We, in fact, <laughs> there was no, he didn't buy you car or nothing, apart from the fact that towards the end of his own life, he gone, he didn't have money. <laughs> but when he was, had me, I remember asking him, I would think it was about 15 or 14, uh, Fela, uh, do you uh, would like, uh, Dotson them, they're all going to London, want to go to London, and Fela said, London? I said that. London? <laughs> what was going to London? The way he go, I never asked him again about London. <laughs> <laughs> never. Yeah. So when they bought his house, I was all saying, I want to send my children to London. And I was looking at him, eh? yeah. you. I can't remember what you said about London. So he did not. So are you telling me that you didn't go to London like when you were younger? Was on the no. Until you grew up? No. That's hard to believe. Nothing. My mother is the one that paid my first ticket to London when I was 21. <gasps> wow. Yep. Are you for real? My goodness. I would think that why can't you go to London is like a four years like old or something. Your mom is a citizen. Like, I don't understand. She, she, that was my, um... Your grandmother. My birthday present. I was 21. Oh. From my mom was to go to... Are you for real? To London. I'd never been. Though, I would say that Fela had taken us to Germany when I was about 18 okay. for the... One, on one of his tours. He took us on two tours. Yeah. So, that was... Yeah. I mean, I was now a big girl, yeah, right, but yeah. when going Before abroad, then. there was nothing like that. Too. There Interesting. Was no... So it was it was elite luxury to travel on holidays and then yes, and they, because my daughter likes to say that my friends just came back. And, uh -huh. So yeah. you know they like to go. So a parent who considers it um, luxury, you know, it's prerogative. That's not my priority right now. You know, there are more things that this money can do. Mm. Because this kind of story now, maybe my parents, my children will now grow up and say, Mom, we don't like doing birthday parties. <laughs> All our yeah. friends, we used to attend. I, I, I still, this conversation this week was <laughs> in my house. Yes. And I said, I don't do my birthdays. I, I fast on my birthdays. I've never, I don't have, the first, my first birthday party was 21, and I did not throw it. 
my so friends you know, through it. So living that through your children? So that's what I believe. Mm. That's what I do. So maybe my child will grow up now, she's working, and say, feel, feel deprived of birthday parties and say, no, that's my own priority. I, I feel that for my birthdays, I could change somebody's life. It could be my child. And it could be somebody else who actually need the money. Yeah, that's my own, my own is to do sadaka. When you grow up, you, when you're decide. an adult, decide. But don't mm. judge me for it. Because I, I, I feel that. I, I, Fela probably thought hey. that luxury because you, or you want to go because your cousins are going. Mm. Does it make sense to you? I, I, uh, I had that problem. Wait, wait. Sorry, I just wanted to say, Fela did not throw money at us in any way. Mm -hmm. mm. We did not, we were not pampered in any way. But, but the... Most the important. upside of that is that we learned to work for our money. Mm. We learned at a very young age. I was working. Mm. I was, I was p paying rent at a very young age. Right. right. Very important. I had, that, I had that issue going up because as a, as a in primary school, I went to Corona Primary School, and almost all my colleagues and friends, everybody travelled. And there was this young guy. I'm sure I'll mention his name. Is Ola. I can't his surname. A lot will come up with these yellow and red boxes, like the big one, the medium size, the small one, you know, and they'll just open it up nicely. They'll come with nice pencil cases, they're nice school bags. And I'm there. We went to Togo. <laughs> we went to Kutu. We went, at <laughs> we went to Kutonu. Mm -hmm. We went to Gabon. You know, and I used to be so angry because I'm like, ah, we let's, we let's go to go to London, we want to go to America. Daddy will not allow you to go to America. When all your friends went and they come with all these stories, nice pencil cases, they are nice erasers, and if you look like that, they'll give you the normal Nigerian one. And you, all you have is I went to Kuton. They gave you now. So, no, the point is that, so, but why do parents do that? I mean, and, and I, today I appreciate it. Because mm -hmm. he was, because when, I, I, when I asked him then, mm -hmm. I think because maybe he felt like he made an error with my brothers, so that my brothers went too early. He, they, they, they left too early. So, for us, for me and my, that's it, maybe he wanted to change that. He didn't want us to have that same experience where we just go so early and don't come back. He wants us to just grow up when you're a bit more mature. And that's probably the problem. That's why I came to Nigeria. That's why I came back to Nigeria. That's American citizenship. Because I had that mentality, unfortunately for me. Because if I had had the mentality of a, 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 a hustler, I would have come back with the citizenship. <laughs> okay, so let me put it this way. The, I, I think that we need to quell the spirit of entitlement. And I think it, the, this comment is coming from someone with the spirit of entitlement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, my parents have money, so I should have money. No, it's not your money. It's your parents' money. Exactly. They can choose to give you opportunities with mm -hmm. that money, but they are, you are not entitled to it. They worked for their money. It's for them. Right. When you are dependent... When, when, and, and my mentality with my children is that I would care for my children when they are dependent on me. On me. They would not lack food or shelter. Really? That is the essential from me. Yeah. When they show responsibility, I will give them more opportunities with funds. Right. So I'm working hard to have money so that if I see my child really, really has, like, opportunity that I can give that child, I can afford to give mm. the child. But not that the child will feel like, my mommy has money so I can just take the key and drive the car. I'll just, mm, you're not entitled to it. Right. You must show responsibility to earn what you are enjoying. Now, for, for my own parents, it wasn't, they didn't have a whole lot. Mm. And I was made to understand that my... I was going to become, I, I was never hungry, you know, I, was, I, I would never ever feel like there was any point in time when I have a, an essential need that mm -hmm. I would not get. Yeah. But I was also brought up to have responsibility and know that I, if I want any extra luxury, oh, yeah. you can hustle it, work for it. You want, the, you want to fi fix a kind of hair, work for it. I see the opposite nowadays. Mm -hmm. um, my husband sells IT products, phones, that and all that, and I hear people say, oh, I promised my daughter that if she gets first class, she's going to get iPhone 13 Pro Max. Mm -hmm. That happened just mm -hmm. like this Christmas, I several. Um, my daughter has been complaining that the, the everybody in their school have waist length Brazilian uh, um, bow streets. Mm. So, and I'm like, why are you putting yourself, like, you need, we, we need to teach our children to be resilient and understand responsibility. Like, you earn things, you work for it, yeah. and when you earn, you don't spend frivolously mm. because you know how hard it took mm, you to get it. Fantastic. So th those are the balance we need to, we need so, to talk yeah. more about because we have more children now. Somebody mm. commit, tried to commit suicide mm -hmm. around me, and when they go to the hospital, Mariah, the, hosp the doctors were like, oh, which one did he take? Oh, okay, this is what they use. As in like, they see it every time. They see it every yeah. time. A lot of children in their early Depressed. 20s, teenagers are committing suicide every attempting. day, attempting and committing. Every day in this country, what is going wrong? 
we have become so super, um, superficial so, and materialistic that we no longer appreciate mm, the life I and see. the small, small things that Let we have. Let me go on a break. When we come back, we continue this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Being a <laughs> TVC Communications, we're all about our audience, millions of viewers, listeners, and readers every day all around Nigeria. Our two TV stations are among the most watched in Nigeria. TVC News is our award winning 24 hour national and international news channel headquartered here in Lagos, broadcasting live from our custom-built, state-of-the-art news headquarters. TVC, the top-rated family entertainment channel, is the place for fun, music, and information. With our breakfast show, Wake Up Nigeria, the all-female chat show, Your View, the best soaps and dramas from Nolly, Bali, and Hollywood, music and entertainment blast, courtesy East Flash, and of course, award-winning news and current affairs. It is all here. With the news bureau and studios around the country and the ability to go live anywhere, anytime, we are first for breaking news in Nigeria. Awarded the NMMA TV Station of the Year, TVC News is the station of choice for news that is first, accurate, balanced and reliable every time. TVC and TVC News, watched by over 4.5 million people in Nigeria every day on Terrestria, DTH, DTT, OTT, and available to viewers in the UK on Sky TV. Watch all of our world-class programs on TV, online, and on our app. TVC and TVC News, the best entertainment and news for Nigeria, on TV and online. And when you can't watch us, listen to us. 102.3 Max FM Lagos and 90.9. Max FM Abuja are now ranked among the most listened to radio stations in Nigeria. Now, with over 1.5 million listeners every day, we're the people's favorite radio station. Best hit music, best on air talent. Max 102.3 hit music for Lagos and Max 90.9 hit music for Abuja. We are your home for that fun, entertainment, and hit music. In Lagos, TVC, our leading family entertainment TV channel, has a 47% market share. But this is just the start of our journey as we plan to add even more services to entertain and inform our ever-growing audience. Thanks for being part of the TVC Communications Store. At TVC... Come closer. A little bit more. Over Christmas, I, was just, I sat down and I was just looking at her like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because you do not know, as a parent, what she's going to get, get exposed to on, mm -hmm. on that app, whatever app that you that do. Do you know what I gave my brother's children from my brother and I this year as Christmas present? And they were so annoyed. Pure water phone. Pure water. Mm, pure water. The phone that doesn't have access phone. to internet. That doesn't have access to internet. Oh, pure water you can only make call. Mm. Call. Yes. 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 And you know, they were so annoyed. Mm. Uh, we what you want us to do with this phone? <laughs> eh? To call. If you need to call. Eh, we can't do WhatsApp. Don't do WhatsApp. Mm. That's what puts two people in trouble. My yes. 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 has been on my neck for a phone. Yeah. We are going to have to yes, yeah. Elizabeth came to ask me. She wants it. What about 13? 13 is too far. Why don't we get the phone? My daughter it. asked me for a phone just last just few days ago. Her birthday is around the corner. She says, Mommy, I, I want to. I said, No, you're not getting the phone. I asked, I said, I grew get up in a phone. family where get that we charge you my head. Phone for just no, 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 I'm not getting it. I said, you know, you said it's eight K. I said I am not getting you a phone. And I said, is it why? I but said point blank, I'm not giving you. I don't have to give you a reason. I'm not getting you a phone. I told my daughter, I said, don't worry, when you start working, because I started business at 17, start working. I bought my first phone. At least part three. You know, I remember that. So 
Buy your, when, when you start working, save up the money. Yeah. If you buy a phone, I will say this. You know, interestingly, I think I've shared this story several times. I, on my 18th birthday, I mean, I was so happy. My brother did a party. Everybody was so happy. Do, 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 do. We had a lovely party. We had an adult. <laughs> After the party, and everybody went home. He now called me. You're 18. Okay. So this is the phone bill. He now started highlighting all the international calls. You every day calling mommy. Every day, mommy. These are your international calls. You're going to start paying for it. <laughs> so he now added all the international calls. Because we, we call mommy once a month. Mm. You, yeah, every day, you're calling mommy. No problem. He added it. The clinical dollars. So that's going to be your responsibility going forward. So mm -hmm. as you're what working, you? that's your pay. You're sure. paying it. Electricity bill, I'm going to give you a portion. No, I had my responsibilities. Simple. Immediately after party. So as an 18-year-old, I knew that, okay, now I have to start doing things. Mm -hmm. And we don't do that here. Mm -hmm. An 18-year-old child in Nigeria still feels entitled. That, give, me, give me, give me, give me. 25-year-old child still feels that they should get allowance. You see, some of these people, these rich children that are complaining are also, there are, some of them are still getting allowance from their parents, oh. but they feel like he's not doing enough. enough. Someone mm. was complaining that um, the last flight that he paid for me, full grown adult, was, busy, was, not, was not first class. It was a premium economy. I say, you, you were complaining of premium economy because you have been flying first class on your parents' bill. You see, we, we need to dial it down. And I know that sometimes they, they feel like it's poverty. And for some people, it's numb. There's nothing, it's like... Why did the parents expose this? you to first class? Should, is, it, is it wrong? That's the question. Is it wrong? If you can afford Why, it. kid, when did you just arrive where we take going first class? Because they, I have seen uh, some rich parents today. Let's, let's, on social media, uh, they are giving their children PS5. I mean, they is it PS5? Like, so my point is that not everything you I've can seen a child. That let, a child let, let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about children. Let's talk about it now. You put a five-year-old child in first class. Mm. Is it wrong? That's the question. I don't think it's wrong okay. if you can afford it. Okay. If, if, I, can, if there. I can afford it and yes. I'm sitting in business yes. class or first class yes. I would, and I can pay for my children to yes. be there as children, okay. I will pay for them. So now let me when they become adults, adults okay. I will no longer pay for well, them. Well, why would you therefore? Because something you have used, yeah, I'm used to doing this mm. yes. as a child. Yes. And I grew up and I say you can't do for me. So the, the no, truth is that you must have that conversation. Yes. yes. So the conversation, like my kids were um, on my case, they want to, they are doing Roblox and they are trying to to, the, he has created a game, so he wants to create a group. It will cost like six or something dollars. That I should like six dollars. I should pay for it. And I told him, I said, you cannot pay for this. It is not an essential responsibility for you now. You are not playing games or creating a game. Is not what is core for me. My responsibility is to feed you, pay your school fees. That's the one I will continue to do. Mm -hmm. So we have that conversation. Mm -hmm. You will enjoy this. By the time you are reaching your 15 year birthday, well, free tickets abroad is ending very, very soon. You mm -hmm. let the child know. Mm -hmm. Because when a child is growing, it will not be easy for them. When you take a child from breast milk, the child is crying. crying for it. Because the child wants breast, breast milk. milk. But you know for the child to become an yeah. adult, the child needs to Stop move away and start food. eating normal food. So it's not convenient. So you don't. You so it's fantastic. Mm. So you can you can give the child the luxury, mm -hmm. but communicate. Let the child know no, this is not a privilege. Yes. I, Papa just used the word that I wanted to jump on earlier when you asked that, that question. There's a winning period for everything, every growth mm. stage of a child. And as a parent, what you can afford is not necessarily what the child needs. Mm -hmm. You must be an up and doing parent to know what your child needs per time, even if the whole world. Is giving that child that thing. You must be able to take it from that child and say, this thing, if I continue to give it to you, it's at your detriment. It's the same as giving your child sugar. Every time the child wants a sweet, you just give them sweet. Mm -hmm. I told my daughter, I said, I grew up in a family where I had to present my work result. Mm. Full papers uh, achieved <laughs> for me to retouch my hair. Mm. <laughs> for me to relax my hair. Mm. It was natural all my life till I showed that yeah. result. So for, for me growing up, you earn things. Yes. My parents will use love to kill you on your birthday. Pray, yeah, in the morning, I love you. That's your birthday gift. Mm. <laughs> That's your birthday gift. Now that I can afford luxury, mm. I'm yearning for that. Somebody to wake me up in the morning with and a pray, hug pray, and prayers. Pray, 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 pray. So I said, I said, well, don't worry. When the time comes, your priorities will change. Are you right. saying that Mr. Adesimi doesn't wake you to love <laughs> and pray? Really can be on his way to work before he remembers his <laughs> birthday. So, <laughs> see, I have a question, therefore. So somebody like the MD of... Um, of so first SCMB, mm. for example, his father was rich, or his father is still, still alive, rich. That's a um, Shubomi Balogun. Yes. Shubomi Balogun raised children yes. in wealth. Yes. Today, the children are successful. Yes. And they're doing well. Yes. So, so no, well, the point I'm trying to make is that you can still raise a child in luxury yes. and still raise a responsible so, child. Exactly. You see Shubomi Balogun in luxury and assume that in his house, the children are just 
Bali, open No, he's the head. One of the children is the MD of the FCMB back No, yeah. it changed you his can children. Create it. No, it changed. It trained his children on administrative managerial, managerial skills to be, to run businesses. Doesn't mean that they will work. You know these people that are writing this one? This one wants to wake up and vex and say, okay, I give my friend $2,000. I throw party as I like. I go to a concert and buy all the tickets. That's what they're saying. And Shubhumi Balogu is a success story. Probably train the children to be success stories, even though they are in that luxury. And you must have denied them certain things to make them focus on their, their right priorities. You said to the little yes. kids, so so well. the, yeah, and they, and they can fly that is private jets right now. Mm -hmm. You know, they can they can pick up. They, they can say, oh, that is going to the UK. We are going, we are going with that in that is private jet. But they, but they, each child must be made to understand that we are enjoying the labors of our uh, father. Uh, and if you and, and you have access. We, we have the grace of God and we have access to the grace of God and to enjoy the luxuries of God because we maintain a relationship with God. So if that relationship gets tampered with, we don't enjoy the access and the joy and the blessings that come with that relationship. Same with parenting. If you are, my, if you are doing everything I want you to do, you are pleasing me in every way. And you say, oh, I want to come. And Annie, God forbid, any reason now, your, children, your, your daughter wants to come and she says, oh, I really want to come and see you, but mommy, I, we just finished paying a lot of bills. We can't make it down. And Auntie Annie is rich enough. Auntie Annie would send business class tickets to her daughter. Why? They have a relationship. Mm -hmm. So most of the time when, parents, when the children are complaining that they are not getting luxury from their wealthy parents, they have neglected the relationship of being responsible yeah. children. But you, you want to enjoy blessing from mm -hmm. a parent you are not responsible to. You don't call your parents unless you need money. Let me take this call from Luxembourg. Um, <laughs> Jeff, are you there? Yeah. Good morning, you're live. Go ahead, please. Okay. Um, I want to hear my view on uh, the topic going on on my view. Yes, okay. go ahead, you're live. Sense of entitlement. Yes, you're live. Yeah, uh, I... I think what Nima is saying, she's saying, yeah, I think what Nima is saying makes uh, in the sense that uh, don't overhamper your kids. Because when I was growing up, I never, never had my best day, one, and second day, the same like one. It's not really, really, really bad. Our phone lines are really bad. We today. got you, Jeff. Don't overpamper so your children. Yeah. We saw, we saw, we, I, mean, I, I mean, recently yeah. I've been seeing a lot of rich people um, on social media giving their children PS5, and the children are just in locked. They, they, they can't see anything else. All they are seeing is this five year old little boy. You see, the thing is, and they're so excited. It's not going to make it bad. I'm just saying that as you're doing that, Make sure that you're having, you're letting that child know he's not entitled to it. You're so just giving it's a not just even him. the entitlement. If you give a child that is doing badly in school, yes, a PS5, what, what, what is his gain in life? Mm -hmm. you, are, you have to make sure that you, if you want a PS5 from me, mm -hmm. you are going to do well in school. Yes. You know, if so you I, I, my, my daughter um, two years ago bought, I don't know what. My uh, game console for my brother's kids, and that year, that term they all did badly. <laughs> eh? My right brother it. just collected the he like for like two years old, he just gave them back that's that, a, that's that, that game, game console, console because they were doing so bad. Eh? So is it game that is and not pretty or correct? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, no. that's so, parenting. And he's like watching them mm -hmm. just do badly again. I will take it away again. Mm -hmm. Then you must know your children. You know, so they were not allowed to play game in the house yeah. for anything. That's parenting. You must, you must know your you children. Know? On, on, when we were on your house, on our way to your house on the 31st, my car just stopped. It didn't start. It didn't get into uh, action. And I kept battering battery with the uh, car. I had to call someone who said it was the battery and then we jump started it, it worked. But in the meantime, we spent about an hour to 30 minutes trying to fix the car. And my daughter just said, oh, mommy, I'm tired of all of this. Just get us a car. Call your friends now. Borrow a car. I was like, eh? Or Martin Moby? My own child. I said, Auntie, look me very well. We will trek to where we are going or we are not going again. In fact, I'm getting upset we are not going again. If you cannot be co use what you, do, what you have, why are you inconvenience somebody? 
asking that person probably puts them in a position where they, they are forced to say yes to you when it's not convenient. Did you think about that? I like what you just, where you you just jumped. Please, and can I just, because that is the problem of Nigeria today. We have developed, a, we are a begging nation. Mm -hmm. We beg With for huge everything. appetite for what I is want essential. To, I, I, I want to throw a party for my daughter's wedding. Please come and give me money. Why should I give you money if you want to throw a party for your daughter's <laughs> wedding? <laughs> throw a party for your daughter's wedding. If, mm -hmm. if you want to throw a party for your daughter's wedding, don't ask me to, to, to fund your daughter's wedding. Mm -hmm. Mm. You know, so it, we, everybody, we, and I am guilty. We are all guilty. Sorry. We all have that entitlement. Uh, in little ways. Uh, yeah. in, in little ways. ways but, yeah. uh, I want to do party. You might uh, please person. come and give me money. I want to, I want to go to Dubai. Please come and fund my ticket. N Nigerians, we are all doing it. Hmm. Forget about parents. Mm. It's, it's our, they, they will and say I'm, to, I'm accusing government again. And we need to teach ourselves. And that's why I'm ha we're having this conversation We are coping government. Teach mm -hmm. ourselves to, to, <laughs> to take more responsibility mm -hmm. and live within our means and not be so materialistic. The measure of success is not in the quantum that you, you can flaunt. flaunt. You know, because it's not really about what, what we need to do. It's the flaunting <coughs> for others to see. I told Mariah, I said, I, there's a video I did. You know, and I just caught myself. I was about to post it, and I'm like, ah, this is not you. But because mm -hmm. we're so in social media space, we're forced to always do. And we, we must remind see. ourselves to be self-aware. So we pull ourselves back but and I, connect with the reality <laughs> on ground. There's, only, there's a point I want to make, but let me take Dr. Moya. Dr. Moya, are you there? I'm here. Good morning. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. Yes, this um, rich kids are the effects of entitlement. Yeah. I'm happy my parents took that sense of entitlement away from me. Mm. Because uh, it got guilt. I came from a privileged home. But my friend, when I came back, so because I went to, as a, as a, as a, as a I went to some private universities that were for privileged children. And when I came home, they thought I was entitled. I didn't want to do any house chores. I was feeling too big. I was, uh, when, when everybody's in house chores, I only want to watch television and do other things. My parents start paying for the TV. Uh, the DIC is the writer. They start paying for the telephone. Uh, they said this, I want to enjoy the privileges in the house, but also any. Don't let it get anything for me in this house. And I'm happy to let me say value people's work, whether you're a job or you're a cleaner or whatever you do. Mm. It, it gave me a sense of that honoring and value what they were doing. Right, right. Then I start feeling like that. This is how that money come back from Spain. I'm going to come to see. I was not getting angry about things like that. I said, I say appreciating what I say for others. When I say work, I say appreciating their work. Mm. Thank you very much, Dr. Moya. You know, what, what she said reminded me of something. I, I grew up, I, I, I've never, I never washed my clothes as a child. I, I, I just didn't have, to, I, didn't, I didn't need to wash my clothes. I couldn't wash my clothes. I never cooked, and I told you guys, the first day I ever turned on the gas cooker was when I went to the US for the first time. I couldn't, I couldn't cook anything. And I remember people used to laugh at me, say, oh, I want to buy she's mm. spoiled, she's last born, she can't cook, she can't wash clothes, she can't anything. Well, you do everything. Her husband would, uh, would, would chase out of the house, she yes. cannot do anything. You know, they laughed at me so badly because, oh, it's a privileged child. But today, by God's grace, I have a washing machine. There's a washing machine. I don't need to wash my clothes. Then somebody, the cooking thing, you can learn the cooking. You know, just so, are we, so my point is that, are we, are we making, making it... Making poverty mentality. Are we using poverty, God bless you. Are we using poverty mentality to raise our children in, in the name of, I don't want them to be spoiled? Yeah. No, for me, this is how I see it. Because some parents have their excesses. I've seen parents put a one-year-old child down, that you finally have a son, put video on it, and be putting words of notes on them in the name of spraying. I don't know what you want to achieve with that. Mm -hmm. For me, teaching your, your children choices, making early in life is very important. Whatever you, they call it, some people might call it poverty, but we grew up like that. See, Muriel, there's nothing in the world that I, I see on people that I turn my blind eye from that I miss. Once I, once I say this thing, I don't care about it. I don't miss it. I, don't, I didn't go clubbing as a child. I don't miss that life. As in, I don't want to, as a younger, I don't miss anything that I turn away from. That resilience, I want to, I'm, I'm struggling to build it. I think that is the mo mo one of my strongest survivor skills. I'm struggling to build it in my children. Mm. If, you, if that thing is not life-threatening, you don't need it. Mm. 
Mommy, we, borrow a car, let's go. We, we see, the only person that will find borrow is a, a white car. <laughs> but we will, you will go upstairs, you will sleep, and we'll be fine. Please, let call from Kenneth. We'll mm -hmm. Kenneth, are you there? Yes, You're live. Go ahead, Kenneth. Our audio is bad. Welcome to the show. Our audio is bad today, but please go ahead. I am very happy to be about this morning, and I want to really appreciate all of you that have been on this program. Thank you. I'm coming to work from Google State. The talk today has been very unique, and I want to really applaud all of you that have always been on stage. Thank you, Kenneth. To let you know that I have been monitoring the activities, all the topics have been unique. Now, going straight to the point who is a kid and who is a student? And who is a teacher? And who is a parent? There are a lot of things lacking in this country. The system is not trying to put things in order. The time is right for us to start putting things in order. Oh, from Gombe. No, 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 the, the time is the, the, um, the system doesn't put things in order. It's time for us to start putting things in order. Um, I think he, w he was actually talking about um, Sylvester, Sylvester. Mm. you know. And um, but I just wanted to say, it's important that we teach our children values. That's the most important thing. I th I think it's value and uh, and appreciating. Mm. Appreciate mm -hmm. what you have yeah. and know that maybe the next child is not getting it and you need to be kind because mm. there is no point in me if you have a child that is not kind and yes. point, I, I want to keep showing off to my friends that I have this and I, you have what? Who are you? What do you have? Mm -hmm. yeah. What, you, what you have my, is what yeah, your parents yeah. have. Yeah. Yeah. Final words, yes. Yes. Um, I want to really just say that I, I, I know that by maybe I, used to, I call it Amejebu Amejebu but when I self-analyzed, I knew it was poverty mentality. I, I, I got married with the, with the fact that you cannot eat a meat too big. You cannot eat, mm. you cannot eat multiple meats in your mm. food. It was poverty mentality. Mm. I, I would cut meat into tiny pieces for my children, not because we could not afford it, but I just was so used to it. Mm. So you can't waste food. You must scrape every food from yeah. the plate because that was my lifestyle, and that was how I was brought up. But I had to just relax and say, the fact that my children don't finish all the grain of rice in their plate does not mean they're not grateful. Mm. So we must be able to self-diagnose poverty mentality. Yeah. It is real. Yeah. So okay. I can say boldly now that if I can afford it, my children will fly first class as children and it will not stop them from having values. It won't stop them from being disciplined. Yeah. It won't no, stop them from being exactly. decent because I will we have balance to run. it. Let me let you find but out what Quickly, I wanted to use that. Paul William is that run. since poverty is seen, is it a disease? It's a situation that can change. Mm -hmm. Poverty mentality also is what some people will see. They'll be behaving like Ojo Rolari. Mm. You will see one want to die there. Mm -hmm. It's poverty mentality that mm -hmm. makes some people greedy. Mm -hmm. It is not exa that you that you know your situation and you're willing to do everything legit yes. to change it. It's not poverty mentality. Mm -hmm. It's to cut your coat part time according yeah. to your size. Fantastic. I think we can learn on that. Thank you very much. Bye. I think that That's poverty. Right. Um, po poverty mentality is different from poverty. Yes. So we need to um, separate, it. Separate, uh, the mm -hmm. separate the two. Poverty mentality is what are a lot of our leaders are suffering hey, from. Hey, yeah. Madam Leader. Okay, that's what we no, can no, take no, on. No, 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 no. We have to run. See, that is why they chop money in government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is why they chop money in government. We have to run. And they don't chop money. We run out of time, honey. We got to go. <laughs> well, that's all we can take on the show. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.